Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch what we do. Road tripping to Michigan. But right. that's the great bridge of Michigan, honey. As the, every time we went south and came back up on 69, this bridge, my kids used to call this the Great Bridge of Michigan. Uh, welcome to pure Michigan. Um, so we're heading up to Michigan. Before we tell you why we're heading up there, I'd love for you to hit the subscribe button below, also the bell notification button below. That'll notify you when we put up next our next video. Please hit the like button too, it helps us out immensely. Heading up to Battle Creek, Michigan, the best to you every morning from Battle Creek. If well, if you're eating Kellogg cereal, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's also on the box yep. side panels of every single Kellogg cereal. Here is a picture of one from Rice Krispies. Yeah, Battle Creek, Michigan, home of Kellogg's and um, home of Post. I don't know if Post has their headquarters in Battle Creek. I don't think they do. Kellogg's does, though. Uh, but they don't make cereal in Battle Creek anymore. I don't think. I think they shut down production of cereal in Battle Creek, but their headquarters are still there. Today is the world's longest breakfast table. At least that's what they call it anyway. And we're going to go check that out. Haven't been in downtown Battle Creek since we left uh, back in, what, 2000? 2000. So it's been 22 years since we've been back in, 23 years since we've been back in downtown Battle Creek. So we're going to look around Battle Creek a little bit and see what's changed, but also go to the world's longest breakfast table. we got about a half an hour to get there, so we'll talk to you when we get close, all right? Hang tight. So do you remember the first time we drove this road? God, 23? Oh, actually longer than that. Yeah, May of 1990, 33 years ago, honey? Yeah. It was uh, on Mother's Day. Uh, yeah, it actually, it was on Mother's Day. We came down this road uh, when we first moved to town. We, who, who, knew, who knew what we were going to get into for the next 10 years that we were here? Well, we had three children here. Yes, we did. We have very fond memories of Battle Creek, Michigan. Yeah, we actually do. We don't have fond memories of their taxes, uh, but we have really fond memories of the friends we made here the time we spent here and the 10 years we spent here in Battle Creek, Michigan. Including the longest breakfast table, which is, we're really close. Yeah, that's where we're going today. Uh, we haven't been up here in like 20 years, but uh, we're heading into Battle Creek, Michigan. So hang, uh, hang tight and we'll get parked and show you the little bit around town. So welcome to Battle Creek, Michigan, uh, downtown Battle Creek. That uh, gray building you see back there, back when we first came to town, that was Stouffer's Hotel. Now it's McCambly Place Hotel. But that was the first place we stayed when we came to town. Spent two nights there, didn't we, honey? We did, before we moved to a different location on Beckley Road. So we're walking down now to the world's longest breakfast. Oh, a deep step there. World's longest breakfast table, so hold on. So they block off the street in order to, for the cereal fast, if you look at it, the road is blocked. Yep. So we're now entering the longest breakfast table. So we're actually in line now to get, uh, breakfast. To get breakfast. I just want to pan like, this is the world's longest breakfast table. And it's been years since we've been here. I think we managed to get in the shortest line too. So there's tents and then they are serving breakfast. And they're doing milk over here. And there's tons of cereal, there's Post, and there is Kellogg's. Pop-Tarts is on the other side, honey. Yeah, I know, I saw the Pop-Tarts. Yeah. So we had to go the other side to get your Pop-Tarts. What do you want? Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops, Cocoa Crisp, Honeycomb, Rice Krispies? What do you want? Um, I think I'm going to have Honeycomb. Thank you. Maybe Raisin Brown Crunch? I'm, fruity Pebbles sounds good. Can huh? I have Fruity Pebbles, please? I haven't had Fruity Pebbles in such a long time. Fruity Pebbles, that she's pouring it. Look at that. And I, we don't have to pay for anything. This is like fantastic. I am going to have Fruit Loops. 
Thank you. Oh, there it went. Can we get a pop tart also? Is that possible? Oh, okay. I didn't realize there was some there. How about, put, how about putting the two together? Yeah, that yeah. works. There you go. Any way you can snark me a pop tart over there? Sure. What do you guys want? Cherry, strawberry, or a uh, cinnamon? That's enough. Thank you. Two strawberries, please. Thank you. Yeah. Honey, this is okay. Thank you. That's perfect. I don't need that much milk. Did you have milk? If you. She's finding us pop tarts. They might be out of strawberry. Are they? The, uh, there's pop tarts everywhere. She's looking. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So we end up getting cherry pop tarts. So we're gonna go back and sit down now. Yep, I need. Can Sam. Fruit Loops. Follow your nose. Reach out inside, grab a handful of balloons. Let's see what he's got. They're doing a, they're doing a magic show over here. Look at the kids. They got a splash pad. There are a lot of people down here. Oh, this is a kid's zone. They've got a full kid's zone here for the kids to do things. Looks like ring toss and coloring and bubbles and more snacks. And this is the world's longest breakfast table. There used to be, back in the 90s, a competition between Battle Creek and another city for the world's record longest breakfast table. And I'm not sure if Battle Creek snagged it or not. I haven't checked. But uh, Battle Creek claims to have the world's longest breakfast table. And that there, boys and girls, is... Uh, Kellogg World Headquarters. That big building right there. This goes all over here. You see all the people down that way. And then there's more going down that road as well. Trying to see everything that's going on here. Besides cereal, there's a lot of cereal. Uh, Post and uh, Kellogg's have both donated cereal and Pop-Tarts to this. Well, Kellogg's Pop-Tarts, but Post and uh, Kellogg's the cereal. And they do have multiple tents passing out cereal. Gorgeous day to do this today, too, by the way. Absolutely gorgeous day to do this. Picnic tables set up all over the place, so there's plenty of places for people to sit and eat. I left Peg back there eating cereal. Figured I'd take a walk. Well, they do have vendor sponsors here as well. Let's go see what's down here. Yeah, these are just vendors for the most part. like a little mini fair. It really, it's like a little mini fair. Yes, sir. 
What are we doing? Oh, we're not even done walking yet. There's even more down here. Got a giant American. They've got a giant American flag set up too. Looks like there's another kid zone this way. Yeah, they've got all the streets closed off so that. Plenty of people can come down here and enjoy. Let's see what they got going on down here. Oh yeah, it's another kid zone. Got a couple of uh, inflatables. Some more kids games. Oh, they've got a little train for kids to ride over there. This has really grown since the 90s when I first started going here. The breakfast table is the same, but they've added a lot of events to the side of it. I'm going to wander back now. Oh, that building right there, one right in front of us, that used to be Ralston Purina. They used to make Chex cereals there. That's what it used to be in that building. Maybe another view of the Kellogg headquarters, the world headquarters. Post is in a different part of the city. We're going to wander on back now. Again, they do have multiple tents set up so that people can grab their cereal. They have several tents. An enormous amount of picnic tables we take advantage of. Again, they've done this every year, except for the pandemic years. But this is the first time we've been here since the late 90s. Yeah. And they've got a band on stage, maybe being out of entertainment. And I think Tony the Tiger is taking pictures. Yep, there is Tony the Tiger right there, taking selfies with people. They're great. They've got uh, Prairie Farms is supplying all the milk for this. I should give them a, a shout because they're the ones that are supplying all the milk for the cereal. Here's some more vendors down this way selling their wares. And also a lot of nonprofits are here as well. Yeah, 
If you don't want cereal, I guess you can go to the Hot Rod Grill. <laughs> they actually do have a line. Yeah. So I'm going to walk back now, find Peg. You know, one thing I guess I should stress is, yes, you can go back for seconds and thirds and fourths, <laughs> you know. Go back as many times as you want. Thanks for watching our video. Heading out of Battle Creek, world's longest breakfast table is over with. Uh, apparently, they've got the Guinness Book of World Records for it, too, by the way. Um, we uh, spent a little bit of time checking out some old haunts here in Battle Creek that uh, we used to stay at and used to live at. And actually, we bought a cake from Continental Bakery. So we're heading home with that as well. Thanks for watching this uh, video. We appreciate you checking it out. As always, uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so. Also get that bell notification button below. That'll get you notified when we put up our next video. Please hit the like button too. Helps us out immensely. Thanks for watching. Have a magical day and bye-bye, Battle Creek.